Hey everyone, this is Jaime with Roosters Comics coming to you with this week's Specs of the Week, the week of April 23rd, 2023. Once again guys, no pull list video this week. There was only two books on the list, so I just decided to hold out, wait till the list gets a little bigger. I've got three awesome books I'd love to share with you today. All of them DC, all of them Batman related. I think they all three have good spec potential on them. One of them, two of them actually I think are surefire long-term holds. One of them is a possible short-term with a potential to long-term spec hold, depending on what happens, basically. Once again, guys, this is just my opinion. This is not financial advice. I just want to go ahead and say that up front. And finally, guys, if you do like my content, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, guys. I truly, truly appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. And once I get to that 150 subscriber mark, I will be announcing what my 9.8 slab giveaway will be. All right, guys, let's get into the list. Now, first book of the day today is Batman issue 6 from 2012, and that is the very first appearance of the Court of Owls. Now, the Court of Owls is supposed to be the main antagonist in the new Gotham Night show that's supposed to be debuting on HBO Max. And the, from my understanding, I don't know the full Court of Owls um, storyline, but it basically tells like the true story of how the Waynes got their fortune, and apparently they were a part of this big secret society, which is pretty interesting. My brother loves the story. So you can get, guys, by the way, all three of these books are pretty affordable. High-grade raws of this book right now run for about $79, most recent selling in 2022. If you want a 9.8 potential of this book, you're going to be spending between 80, anywhere between $80 and $85. As for the 9.8s, as we can see here, they're all trending down. And you know what I say about trending down books, guys. It's just like a stock. It's probably time to buy it. 9.8s are trending down at 307 with mo with the most recent sale in April 20 uh, of this year for $332. And if we could look at the charts here, when the book first came out in 2012, it was a decent book. It was selling right at $37. Couple, a year later, went to $135. Let's just go straight to 2019, right at the beginning of the comic boom. It was, you know, right there. It went from 41, speaked, sp spiked, excuse me, up to 100 dip down and then it's been on a steady climb 225 this is obviously right in the heart of the comic boom 465 highs was and then it was looks like here at 336 dollars the average price peaked up again here at 493 peaked down and then it found its leveling off point right around 319 302 went down a little bit at 272 and now with the announcement of the whole gotham Knights series it's starting to pick up steam again so far this year, 23 copies of this book have sold, excuse me, 21 copies in 2023. And we can just look for the month of April. As you can see, there's a, there's a lot of them. 262, 399, 226, 349, 349, 373, 300, 420, and 332. Now, I personally think the fair market value of this book is anywhere between 300 and $330. That's probably a safe place to buy this book. Um, with the announcement recently from HBO Max, as you can see, we've gotten some of the books a little higher than that 330 mark. So we got a 421 right here on April 12th, which happens to be my brother's birthday. Uh, we have one here at 373. Um, now, do I think this book has great long-term spec potential? This is that one iffy book, guys. If the show is any good and they depict the Court of Owls in a very interesting light, and on top of that, the Court of Owls has legs where it may actually go into the big screen. Yes, I think this book has potential, growth potential, where 10, 15 years from now, instead of being, you know, a $300 to $330 book, you may be looking at anywhere between a $450 and $500 book. Um, will it ever get beyond that? I really don't know. Um, I mean, obviously, depending on inflation and stuff like that, sure. But I'm talking about as for a truly valued and desired comic, I don't know. I know this was one of the more interesting storylines when the new 52 first came out, which, you know, got everyone buying the book just for the story purposes. And then once the potential spec came on this book, as you can see, the book started climbing. But all in all, I think for the short term, if you can get on, get in on a high grade raw right around $85 and it comes back at a 9.8, I say hold on to it until, you know, we get a little more news on the Gotham Knights series and then sell the book. I mean, you're going to easily make two, $250 on the book after grading costs. And that's a great flip. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the second book. And the second book, I think this book has a lot more holding, staying power and long-term potential. And that is Batman Adventures Mad Love. And this is the, the origin 
of Harley Quinn outside of DC continuity. But this is the key comic that the market dictates as the true origin of Harley Quinn. Now, we can get high-grade raws of this book, which is still very, very affordable, right around $149, and that most recent sale was back in 2022. Now, I'm thinking if you want, once again, same thing, a 9.8 candidate of a near mint, you're going to be paying a little more of a premium, and you're going to be paying anywhere between $160 to $175 for a near mint or copy of this book. But if you do get one raw, and it does come back a 9.8, there is a nice turnaround, nice return on your investment, excuse me. As we can look here, 9.8s, once again, are trending down at $429. Just like a stock, guys. I mean, this is probably a really good time to buy it. Obviously, when the book started first getting slabbed, it was a $280 book. Harley Quinn, pop culture icon. Um, Suicide Squad put her on a different level with the mainstream normies. And everybody wants a either Batman Adventures 12 for first appearance or the next best thing, Batman Adventures Mad Love, which is her first her origin story. So we can look as the it started tapering down in 2009 to it looks like around 146. Then we can jump up to 2012, climb back up to 166. Back over here in 2014, it went up to 523, and then it's just been this has been its home pretty much. Went for 400. 505 it hit lows in 2019 of 190 dollars started climbing back up getting back to where it should be then it started really peaking in the comic boom this was selling for about 750 dollars and then it's been tapering down and it's finding its home once again now if we can look in the month of obviously in the year of 2023 we have eight copies sold just look at April 2, 362,500. It's not a great sample size, but if you look at the March month of March, which there's three other books, 450, 449, 380. Now, I personally think the fair market value of this book anywhere is anywhere between four to five hundred dollars. So that person that got this book for 380 and 362, those are, in my opinion, steals. Once again, the origin of Harley Quinn is the next best thing to get besides their very first appearance. So this book has great long-term spec potentials. Harley Quinn is not done in live action. She's going to continue doing her thing. Um, I think HBO Max has got a Harley Quinn animated series, which I hear does very well in the ratings. I, I'm not a big animated person for, for the most part, especially when it comes to comic book stores. I'd rather watch live action. So I've never seen it, but I've heard nothing but good reviews about it. If any of you guys have watched it, leave a comment in there. Let me know how you what you think about the show. But I think 10, 15 years from now, this book will continue to grow. As you can see in the scale, this book has always held its value. And if they ever get Harley right, Harley Quinn done right in live action, I think it's going to help this book. I know in the Joker 2 movie, Lady Gaga is uh, portraying her version of Harley Quinn. So if she does a great job and win, wins over audiences with her performance like Joaquin Phoenix did with the Joker... This is only going to help this book and it's going to help it grow more and more. If she doesn't, as you can see, what Margot Robbie did with Harley Quinn is not that great. She kind of put her into the small little cookie cutter role, but it never it never, you know, stunned to the value of the comic. The, the comic just kept on growing. And I think the same thing with Gaga. If she does it right, the comic's just going to continue to grow. We know Margot Robbie's not done because she's in James Gunn's stable of actors that he he likes to work with so hopefully he can get her into a good story and you know actually bring harley quinn his version of harley quinn to light and hopefully you know resonates with people all right guys let's go ahead and get into the final book and the final book of the day i think is a really really good one too and that is batman vengeance of bane special issue one and this is the very first appearance of bane which bane is one of the more popular modern batman villains now, we know in Christopher Nolan's Batman uh, little trilogy, Bane was the final villain, and, you know, it. everyone loved it. I thought, everyone thought it was an awesome movie. I personally, it was my least favorite of the three Batman films. Batman 2 still, it, it's probably my favorite, most favorite comic book movie of all time, and that's Marvel or DC. Batman number three, it just, it was okay. It was okay. But if ever they do Bane right in live action... I think that this book, once again, is going to continue. It's going to grow. It's good, And it's very affordable right now, guys. So if we look here, high-grade raws of copies of this book right now go for about 120 If you want a 9.8 candidate, once again, guys, you're going to be spending money between um, $130 and $140. But for $140, you know, $40 CGC grading, you know, we don't want to talk about CGC's price increases, but let's say $40 increase, you know, $40 for slabbing it. You're looking at right there, $180. You can get back on a 9.8, you know, $400 book. 
you're making 200 bucks. What, what, what more do you want me to tell you? Now, once again, this book is trending down for the past 90 days, which is a great time to buy this book. Everyone right now is not thinking about it. And I think this book will still continue to go down because I don't think Bane is going to be coming to live action not anytime soon. You know, I mean, well, let's be honest. I mean, the, the Batman and the Brave and the Bold with Batman and Damien, I can imagine the Joker being a main villain. Bane could be. I mean, Bane could be, but I, I could see Ra's al Ghul, maybe Talia being the first, you know, villain, maybe because obviously their connections to Damien. But I think that in the future, if James Gunn's Batman run, you know, or Batman series and in, in the, DC, the new DCU, whatever his version is called, Bane will come. I mean, Bane is that big of a villain. And if we can look, when this book first started getting slabbed, obviously 2004 was a $57 book. Then if we can go jump up, let's jump up to 2015, this book climbed up to $178. And that was just due to the popularity of Bane. And then obviously 2019, this book went to 232 and it's done nothing but continue to climb. I mean, it hit peaks of 734 and then it's starting to taper down. And I think right now it's finding its leveling off point. If we look here for the uh, year of 2023, 28 copies already have sold of this book. And in the month of April, we're looking at 355, 360, 315, 414, 395, 370. As you can see, right there in the upper 300s, lower 400s. I think the fair market value for this book is anywhere between $375 and $400. I think five years from now, guys, this book will hold its value, and if not, go up, especially five years from now. Because if James Gunn is continually is continuing to run DC five years from now, I see Bane coming. And if Bane's going to come, this book's going to start climbing. And even if he doesn't climb, Bane is such a popular Batman villain that this book will hold its value. And that's it, guys. Those are my specs of the week for this week. Once again, guys, if you do like what I'm doing, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. Um, please, guys, do not forget to check out my eBay store at Roosters Comics. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I will be sending out some books to CGC really soon. And we'll be having a CGC unboxing video done up and running shortly. Finally, guys, keep your ear out for that rooster crowing. Because when the rooster crows, that means there's a good deal out there. Jaime Hernandez, Roosters Comics, signing out. Good night, everyone.